We've got our finger a few storms at the end of the week. Yeah, just kind of like today. But I want to uh, talk about something completely different right now, and that's salsa. Mm -hmm. Salsa, beautiful sunshine out there, has us in the mood for some light snacks. And we want to spice up your Monday. This is Nancy Mock, in case you missed earlier. Hungry Enough to Eat Six is her food blog. And what have we got going on here? It smells so good again. Thank you. More salsas. Um, earlier, I shared two that were more traditional with tomatoes, pepper, onion, and these are uh -huh. a little bit different. Um, there are two here. This is a spicy island salsa with pineapple and coconut. Okay. And this is a cucumber salsa, which has some red onion and a little bit of habanero pepper. And oh. then I also put some of it on toast with chef. Oh, what a great idea. You kind of touched on this earlier, but salsa is a perfect summer snack for a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. Vegetables are in season and it's healthy. Can you elaborate more on that? Vegetables are in season. You can really play with how much or which vegetables you want to add. Uh -huh. um, you can put fruit in the salsa like this too, so you can take advantage of the fruits that are available as well. Okay. And it is healthy. It's just um, it's veggies mixed with some some spicy peppers, some salts. So yeah, it's great. It's a great snack to indulge in, and it's great to put out for parties and stuff. Great. And what do you have here it. to dip? Because I noticed we have the plain tortilla chips tortilla from last chips, time. What is this? We tend to eat everything with tortilla chips. These right. are pita chips, which I thought might also go well with the cucumber salsa. Oh, yeah. yum. Okay. <laughs> and this is this is kind of a weird thing, but I actually like to dip celery and carrots in salsa. Oh, yeah. Isn't and that I, strange? <laughs> um, right, because you don't want it to go too crazy on the tortilla chips, then it's not so healthy. <laughs> but I've also in the past cut strips of um, sweet bell pepper and use that to dip in salsa. So that's another way of enjoying it huh. without going too carb crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, great. Let's uh, let's give this a try. Any first before we do any mm -hmm. any tips and tricks for these? Um, are pretty straightforward. They're pretty straightforward and okay. just like before if you if you don't care for the coconut, you can reduce it or leave it out. You can just play with what you like. Um, do you use fresh coconut or No, the it's the shredded bag okay. coconut. Cool. Mhm. Mm yeah, so um, All right. Let's dig in. All right. Let's see. Okay, so pineapple, coconut, pineapple, this looks like coconut. maybe onion. There is some red onion and some jalapeno. Ooh. Mm. That's great. It's a sweet, savory <laughs> kind of a thing. Yeah. Yeah, you have like the sweet and the spicy. Mm hmm. Apologize, I'm talking my mouth full here. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Pineapple and coconut go great together. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why it kind of inspired me to try this combination here. Kind of reminds me of like summer cookouts. Like you're, mm -hmm. you're looking for something to put out, you know, while the meat's cooking, and your guests are getting hungry and want a snack. Absolutely, yep. And for me, salt is uh, there's always a savory component in salt, is whether it's the spicy pepper or the onion. So that's where you, the onion comes in with that. Very cool. All right, yeah. and this one again, cucumber. Cucumber. This one's pretty simple. It's cucumber, red onion, <clears throat> excuse me, and habanero pepper, a little bit of vinegar, um, some salt and pepper. So this was pretty straightforward. It's um, my daughter told me it was pretty refreshing. So that oh yeah yeah it's okay. a nice choice. And, and how did you come up with this idea here? I uh, was trying to read into some pairings with cucumber and read that it goes really well with goat cheese. So that gave me the idea of creating this appetizer with it. Um, they're just little little slices of baguette toasted, and then the chev cheese. And I used Vermont Creamery chev. Of course, gonna hit up those <laughs> local ingredients. Absolutely love it. Um, spread on the bread. Melted a little bit under the broiler, and then the cucumber salsa on top of that. Oh my gosh, yeah. messy but delicious. You're right, <laughs> nothing neat snack, but hopefully a tasty one. Oh, oh, that's <laughs> good. That's a great idea too to kind of mix it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I try it that. in a different way. Um, which is a good point about salsas as well is that they're great with chicken, they're great on burgers, tacos. Uh, they're they can be served as a condiment as well as. They're a, very diverse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great. Okay, so where again can we find your recipes? On my blog, which is hungryenoughtoeat6.com. And I have these four salsa recipes, the two I shared earlier, and a couple of others as well. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Nancy, for whipping this all up and bringing yeah. it in again this morning. Another, another fantastic success. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah.